Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be talking about the book Bounce by Megan Schull. So here's the book. So basically this book is about a 7th grader whose name is Franny Hudson, and she wonders what it would be like to have a new family. Well, basically trade in her family for a new one because and so basically she wonders this because her sister is pretty mean to her and her brother they just her siblings just don't get along or she doesn't get along with her siblings and yeah but then so it's basically it's Christmas and her parents decide that they are too, I mean, the kids are too old for Christmas. And so they just go off and have a vacation and leave the kids at home with just by themselves. And then Franny's like, because it's basically the worst Christmas ever because her siblings do like a party with a bunch of friends and she's just kind of there alone without anyone to celebrate Christmas with. So then she wishes that she could have, or yeah, she wishes that she could be someone else or be anywhere else and not in that house on Christmas when her sister and brother are throwing a party and she's just alone. So she wakes up and she's in a completely, she's in a different body of somebody else who she has no idea. And she doesn't know where she is or what family she's in now. And so she wakes up and the first family she goes, she switches into is a super nice one. And they have like a wonderful Christmas. And she, uh, she thinks it's amazing. And she's like, I wish I could have... I mean, she doesn't, she, yeah, so she's kind of like, she wishes that she could have a family like this who are together on Christmas and blah, 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 but then she goes to sleep and she wakes up in another body in somewhere else and as somebody else and yeah, so this keeps on happening over and over again and she, the thing is, she's always in a different person's body, and she kind of learns something different each time she switches. And there's always different things going on in each different family. At first, it's, like, amazing, and they're having a wonderful Christmas, but then after a few times, she realizes, it, like, after she's been in these different bodies with these different people and different families and stuff, some of their stories with these different families are um, sad and yeah, so she gets to see different lives as like different people and stuff. And then after she's switched a few different times, she's like, will I ever get to be home again? And yeah, so basically she learns Diff lots of different people along the way and they kind of always they're good people and they have like a different effect each time as like the way I don't know she like sees herself or whatever she kind of learns a different lesson with each switch and then in the end she's uh, she's like she misses her family and she wants to get back to her family and stuff and so, yeah. So basically, of course, it's like magic and it's not real. But I think the book tells a good story. Like overall, it's really good. I thought going into it, because I've read The Swap by the same author of this book. And going into the book Balance, I thought that it was going to be like really funny and stuff. But it, I thought... I thought it was going to be funnier than it actually was. Um, but that was because I had read the swap first and I felt that was funny. Like most of it was funny, but there was also like different things in it. 
And so going into this book, I thought it was going to be funny like the swap. It is funny sometimes, but I feel like it has a different... I mean, the story is different because it's two different books. But I thought it was going to be funny like the swap. It was funny, but it had a lot of more meaningful and different things too. So, yeah. Yeah, now I'm just rambling. So, basically that's what this book is about and I would recommend it. I'm not quite sure who I would recommend it to, but yeah, if you're looking for something to read that's not that's like in the middle of really funny and really serious, like it's a funny book, but it's not too serious. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please click like and subscribe down below. Bye!